Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Saturday, September 4th, 2021. Time is 5.39 p.m. Yes, Jersey time. Still here. Beautiful, pleasant day here in New Jersey. It's in the 70s. A little breeze in the air. No humidity. Lovely day today. After all that heat and humidity we've been having, it's a welcome relief. But it's also a reminder, summer is coming to an end. All right, we got another Blue Zero Hero. This one comes out of New Jersey, and as many of you are starting to realize, New Jersey is the Blue Zero Hero capital. We got lots of Blue Zero Heroes, a lot of them right here in Monmouth County. This one here is reported on NJ.com on August 27, 2021. Reads as follows, and it involves a badge bunny, I might add. Cop arrested after ex-girlfriend says, he has heard a drop complaint of on-duty sex. Jesus, another sex story on duty. Can't these cops control their private parts when they're on duty? <laughs> duty. When they're working? Jesus. I mean, I go to work, I think about doing a little pokey pokey, but you know what? I don't do it. You know why I don't do it? Because you get fired if you do it. That's why. All right, let's, here's the story right here. Take a good look. All right, let's find out what this, uh, what this uh, idiot did. A police officer in Cape May County. Well, Cape May, for those out there who don't know, is on the southern end of New Jersey, very far away from me. Uh, a police officer in Cape May County who wanted to smooth things over with an investigator who took a complaint from his former girlfriend has been arrested on charges of impeding an investigation according to the court documents. Sergeant Joshua Bryan, wow, a sergeant, this is not even a road cop. This is a sergeant who should know better. 39 of Middle Township Police Department faces two counts of third degree witness tampering, according to Cape May County Prosecutor Jeffrey H. Sutherland. Bryan's former girlfriend, went to the police department on July 2nd and reported the officer for having sexual encounters with her while he was on duty January 2nd and February 1st, according to an affidavit of probable cause. All right, the first thing that comes to my mind is, all right, what did this cop do to her that she's being so scornful? Now, she had sex with him on January 2nd and February 1st, and as she's reporting him, so obviously there's a little riff going on with her, and this badge bunny has turned against her hero. And this hero is learning the hard way about thinking with the little head and getting involved with these badge bunnies. So people, take notes, all you men out there, particularly you heroes, you blue zero heroes and regular heroes, and do nothing good cops. Don't think with the little head. Next time you're out there in the, in the patrol car, you're at the headquarters, and you got a little badge bunny there, and uh, she's trying to work you up, let my voice echo in your head. Don't do it. And if you're off duty and you're doing something with a badge bunny, take your shirt off. Do not be in uniform. She filed a similar complaint with Brian's recruiter at the New Jersey Army National Guard after day. He said, wow, this girl's really pissed off here. What the hell did you do to her, Sergeant? The woman told investigators that she had been involved in a consensual sexual relationship with Brian from September 28, 2020. To March 30th, according to the affidavit. I got a feeling now, I don't know it's the truth, I'm just speculation. I suspect one of the things that happened here, he got violent with her, which I don't think he did. I suspect he's probably screwing around on her because one thing I'm starting to learn from my retired cop friends and from the stories I do, these cops are horny. They are horny mother effers and they use that, they exploit that badge to the maximum potential when it comes to their little head. After learning of the complaints, Brian went to his girlfriend's home while on duty and in uniform. See, he screwed up. He went over there in uniform. On July 4th, 
and became and began banging on the door until she let him in, the affidavit said. So banging on the door and yelling is could be construed as domestic violence. Once inside, Brian demanded to know why she had filed the complaints according to the document. She stated he told her he was going to get in trouble and possibly lose his job, the affidavit states. Brian then asked the woman to tell him who took her complaint at the police department and what she told him so he could talk to that person and smooth things over the affidavit states. Well, here's the deal. Pay attention, uh, Blue Zero Hero. Sergeant, uh, what's your name? Sergeant Brian. And this goes back to the other story I did a couple months ago about a Middletown Township police officer who lied on a report because he backed his car in to uh, somebody else's car. You're going to get fired for trying to tamper with a witness. You're going to get fired for doing these things that you're doing right now. You're better off going to the chief and say, look, I was screwing around with this badge, buddy. I don't know what happened. The hoe has gotten, uh, it's gone mental on me now. She's gone rogue and she's trying to get me in trouble and everything. Yeah, she gave me a Hummer in the, in the back in the police car. What was I supposed to do? You know, I know it's wrong. I shouldn't have done it, but I was thinking with the little head. See, now, I as a person, if, I, if I'm the chief, I'm not saying what he did is right. But if I was the chief, he came to me and said, look, I screwed up. I had sex with her. She, she gave me a Hummer. I don't know if that's what she did. She gave moral sex. I don't know. I'm assuming that's probably what happened. Did a quickie. All right? You're not supposed to do it. We know that. And you just be out front with the chief. This is what happened, man. What's the worst going to happen? You're not going to get fired. You're going to get suspended. Unless you really got a, got a history of getting written up of disciplinary actions. It just... I'd rather get fired having sex on the job than try to go get charged with criminal charges now for uh, tampering with a witness, impeding an investigation, all whatever else. I'd, I'd rather go down like that. But he got involved with a bad one here, so take notes, guys. You gotta watch out. There's some evil females out there. He then asked her, what can I do to make this go away? What do you want me to do to make this disappear? The affidavit states. The prosecutor's office says Brian was arrested last month and released on a summons to appear in court. He was suspended without pay. That's, see, again, that's, that's the precursor to not too good. Without pay, pending resolution, the charge is convicted of a third-degree crime. Brian faces three to five years in prison, according to Brian. I, I think this is so wrong. Uh, he shouldn't have been having sex on the job. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Nobody should be doing that. But to put him away in prison for three to five years for that, that that's bullshit, okay? And who's this hooker out there? Who's this badge bunny? I wish they released her name so we can all find out who she is, that she's going on going to this guy and uh, giving him a, having sex with him while he's on a job and then throwing him under the bus. Yeah, get her name so we can expose her. So every guy in the state of New Jersey or every guy that sees my video knows to stay away from this hoe. Because that's what she is. She's being a hoe. Based on comp the statements that she gave there, it doesn't sound like it was a violence thing. I got a feeling he just, uh, he screwed around on her and she's getting very scornful now. And, you know, females don't like it when you're going out with them and uh, maybe you upgrade with another one that's better looking. Because, you know, these females, they all think they got the Mercedes-Benz body and and that uh, you should be hooked on it and never leave it. And uh, they don't like it when the guy ones up on them. They always want to be the one up. But they don't like it when you one up on them. And I think he won up on her. And now this, this guy... I gotta tell you, I feel for the guy. I don't think he deserves all this bullshit. But let that be a lesson, guys. So all guys out of there, cops and non-cops, don't think with the little head when you're on the job. The little head can wait till you get home. You always gotta ask yourself, if I do something and I get caught, I get in trouble, can I afford the consequences?
in this case here, getting fired from the best job you'll ever have in your whole life, and no doubt he's getting paid six figures. No, he cannot afford it. I'll put the link in the description. Go read the story yourself. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. We're growing, people. We're growing. Till next time.